Greetings and blessings, everybody. It is Arnold Stark123 with a video, a new video that is. And today I ended up encountering something that I honestly was not expecting at all. And it and it was in regards to a colleague of mine who is also a subscriber and a now um, friend of mine from my YouTube channel. I think you probably might know him on YouTube as Eli Chase. Subscribe to him, by the way. He is pretty funny when it comes to the content that he does produce and whatnot. But in regards to why he's in even mentioned in this video in the first place is because of the fact that he ended up encountering somebody that was very, let's just say, inappropriate towards him. And he came to me on a situation because he saw that I probably might do something about it. And I decided, yes, I'm going to help him with this. Today... I'm going to prove to you how I exposed a pedophile. Yes, I actually exposed a pedophile today. Now, just as a quick disclaimer, there will be t forms of sexual content throughout this video. It will all be censored, but I wanted to let you all know in case you guys are sensitive to that. So if you guys don't want to hear about any of that stuff, click off this video. But if you want to hear about the situation that's going on in this video that's being talked about, then I'd say stick around. With that being said, let's begin. So, Elite Chase gave me a bunch of screenshots of everything that had took place when he was talking with the individual, and the individual's name is HDJDHJ, or Sarah-02224, which is a really lame-ass title, the Sarah could have been fine, and your profile looks like you want someone to kiss you, but anyways, he gave me a bunch of screenshots of the interaction and whatnot, but I will not be talking about the early ones because there's literally just them talking with each other, trying to get to know each other just a little bit and whatnot. Like, hi, how are you? What's your name? Where do you live? And whatnot. And talking about a cat and stuff. You could pause the video if you want to, if you want to look at that kind of stuff. Like, that's fine. I'm not opposed by it. But that's not really the main topic of this video. The main topic is what she says later on in the text. And I'm going to start here. And this is where it started here. Are you in Facebook? No, lol. Can I get a photo of you just to be sure who I am chatting with? He does proceed to give a photo here, but in the screenshot he gave me, the photo isn't really shown. It says that photo's there, but the actual photo itself isn't shown. And then she replies with looking good. He says, thanks. What do you do for fun? Baseball. I'm gonna be honest. I can relate to this. I love baseball too. It's my favorite sport. No joke. Alongside gaming, too, which also is a sport. I do play baseball with family, but not as professional. Lol. That's what she said in the text. You also do baseball, question mark? I play baseball and sexy games. Okay, that's a massive red fucking flag right there. But let's keep going. Like, this was... That was just a massive red flag. Like, what the hell does sexy games gotta do with it? Like, seriously, what kind of sex games do you play? Porn games or some shit like that? Anyways, here's the next screenshot. What position in baseball? I love defending, though. Like, 2B, SS, which one? 2B, are you down for fun? Okay, I am sorry, what the fuck? Okay, I play second, too. You must be a very good player, I guess. Are you down for fun? What you mean? Yeah, what does she mean right now? That sounds like a red fucking flag right there. Anyway, anyways, next screenshot. I am just bored and all alone in my room. Damn. Well, I'm just chilling in my bedroom really bored as fuck. Let's just exchange sexy pics. I'll make you come. Are you in? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, yo, what the fuck? That did not just come out of my fucking mouth. I do want to clarify that this is all what this lady is saying in the text. This is not me trying to pretend like it's something else. This is just what the girl is saying. Anyways, back to the video. There is no way. Nope. They, she actually said that shit. 
This is disgusting. And also, I want to keep in mind on this that this subscriber, Eli Chase, is 14 years old. And the person he's talking to that's saying all this disgusting shit is a literal adult. So yeah, this is some pedophile type shit right here. EDP 445 type shit. You know what I mean? Okay, now here comes the rest of it. Um, it's just between us both, okay? Why? Just why? Can I keep my shorts and underwear on? Okay, I will make this quick. He did tell me beforehand that he was just playing along to see what what would happen next and whatnot. It's not that he was actually interested. He didn't like any of the shit. He was just playing along just to see if um what she'll do next. So just thought I'd clarify that. Ever played sexy games? No. It's fine. I understand how it feels, okay? What are you talking about? It's fine. I understand how it feels. Are you alone at the moment? No, not yet. Let me say I have to use the bathroom. Okay, before the game starts, both players will AG. Will AG. It has rules of the game. Re not to make screenshot and promise not to cheat and keep it private between the two players. Do you really think that this kid would be that fucking stupid to not take a screenshot? You're literally being a fucking pedophile. Of course he would take the screenshots. Hell, if he didn't take them, I wouldn't even have made this damn video. Especially if I didn't have any evidence to pack it up. So, like, you're retarded. Alright, here's the rest of it. I'll go first and you'll go after me. Promise? And then he proceeds to show a photo that I cannot see. And then here's the girl's photo. Do you like it? Yes. I'm nervous. I've never done this before. It's fine, okay? I'm, I'm here, and it's just between us both. All right. I know how it feels. Are you ready in the are you, are you ready in the bathroom already? Seriously, I'm fucking stuttering because this shit is disgusting. He then replies with a yes. So, he actually does send more pictures of himself, and I actually do get to see them, but again, I am censoring his face because of the fact that it's privacy and whatnot, and I respect people's privacy, including his as well. But yeah, he just looks like a normal, chill dude that you can meet outside and whatnot. And since he's a baseball player, it, it gives him even more of a W. I respect that. And then she replies with, am waiting. I'm sending you stuff. Like, that's literally what he says, like, wait, what's the other image? Okay, and it says, but this looks like a screenshot, are you lying to me? And he says, that's my TikTok, I'll sing in my TikTok, and she's like, no, mate, it's what a game, please don't spoil the fun. What fun? You're literally talking to a fucking minor about sexual shit, you Oh my god, I can't believe there's more of this shit. I just sent you a newly made photo I took now. Oh, my bad. Understand now? Photo new, I still can't see it. Yes, looking good. Thank you. My turn. Okay, what the hell even is this game they're playing? I honestly don't get it. I don't get the rules. I don't know how to play it. And even if I did understand the rules, I still wouldn't fucking play it. I'd rather play fucking Fortnite over this bullshit, okay? Like, I don't care anymore. A minute, please. No screenshot, okay? Okay. And, yup, this is where I have to censor this part, because they're nothing but just a bunch of honkers. They're, like, tiny freaking titties. Like, even though that they are small, I will be censoring it because I don't want YouTube to take this video down. I don't want them taking it down, so I, yeah, th they are titties, I will, I will say that. Oh my god, I can't believe I even made this video, dude. Oh god, next one. Oh, hell nah, another screenshot of her with her freaking body with titties and shit. Like, oh my god, bro, I don't... No, I don't want to see this no more. And she's like, you love it? And he's like, maybe with a wink emoji and shit. He's literally trying so hard to play this part, and I'm trying so hard to keep it together in this fucking video. I am trying my very best here. But it's really hurting my brain cells, my, my guy. Like, I really want to end this, but like, no, we're exposing somebody, so I have to keep going. Would you like some pack? What's pack? It's really gonna look nice on you. Six packs. Oh, I'm lifting now. I do it for my baseball team. 
I mean, I can't say I blame him for doing that. I mean, you gotta stay physically active to play in sports, especially when it comes to baseball, since it does require some running. I wouldn't blame him for it. But why would she ask him about it in the first place? This is just disgusting. Please get her out of here. Nice. It's really going to help you keep fit. Thanks. My turn. All right. Okay, here's the next screenshot, and oh god, this is the worst thing I have seen. There's a vagina on my screen. I'm gonna censor it because I don't want it to get taken down. Oh god, I'm already going to frown. Oh god, I can't even sing a damn good lyrics because this shit is on my screen. It's the worst thing I've ever seen. I want to fucking die. Yup, this is the kind of person we're dealing with. People are just literally sending pornography to fucking minors, bro. This person is an adult. The kid is 14. Why are you sending him this? Like, seriously, you should have known by now that this person could have been a minor. Why did you not keep that shit in mind, bro? I feel like you just wanted to do this, bro. This is disgusting. I hate it. Show me a mirror pic showing your hard... I'm not even going to say this word because I'm not letting YouTube demonetize me right now. Like, seriously, why do you, why? Like, oh my God, this kid is 14. The kid is 14. Why are you literally asking him to get his freaking private area hard? He is 14 years old. You are an adult. You need help, my dude. You need help, my guy. Show me your face. How do I know it's you, lol? I'm not hard and I don't send dick pics. Remember you promised me not to spoil the fun? You could put it, put it to view once if you want. Like, oh god, this is just disgusting to read. This is disgusting to read, bro. I hate it so much. I cannot sleep tonight. Anyways, the next screenshot says this. You also promised me I cannot show anything below the waist. Dick pics make me uncomfortable. And I, and actually, let me point that out for a second. Earlier in the video, if you do remember, she literally said that he wouldn't, that he didn't have to show anything. And now look at her being a hypocrite, contradicting herself by saying that he has to show something. This is literally, this is the kind of people we deal with in this world, people. This is the kind of people that you should not associate with on the internet, kids. Stay away from these dumb motherfuckers, people. Stay away. Do you trust me? My parents will literally kill me. I'm gonna be honest, your parents will literally probably punish you for, like, uh, talking with a person that's literally a pedophile, but here's the thing, it wouldn't be your fault because this person should not have even spoke to you in the first place, but, yeah, we'll get into that, we'll get into that, I promise you. I wouldn't do anything to screw you up or make you feel sad, okay, because I strongly believe in karma and I've got family too. Yo, stop that cap, bro, just stop the cap. Stop the cap. <laughs> I mean, she, she's got to be lying. She's clearly got to be lying, guys. She has to be. Anyways, next part of the screenshot. Okay, you can just delete after been sent. I'm going to say this right now. Even if he does delete them off of his end, you still have access to them by literally saving it into your device. That's how Instagram is, and that's how it works. I feel like she's just doing this just so that she could literally make herself more horny to a minor? If you can't tell, I am absolutely angry with this. Alright, here's the next part of it. So, is it okay if I don't send the dick pics? All good? Question mark? Bro, this has happened to me before. I'm not doing it. What do you mean? I'll keep sending no shirt, but that's it. Almost every girl that has chatted with me has sent asked for D pics. What pic? Okay, you can obviously tell that he's talking about dick pics. How are you this fucking stupid to not realize what he's talking about? Oh my god, it's like common sense and arithmetic doesn't exist on this planet anymore. This world has gone down the toilet. Can I call you? Uh, sure. Here's my response to this. Yes! 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 No! 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 Fuck! Shit! Are you with your friends? No. I couldn't even hear a single word because the network was breaking. My bad. It's fine. I knew you can't keep your promise. That's crazy. All right, just take a nap. 
Okay, bitch, you ain't got no say on the matter of telling him to take a nap. He could do whatever he wants. It ain't like you live in the house with him. Can't tell him what to do. Shut the hell up. Oh, and may I ask, what promise was he supposed to keep, huh? About the whole sexual shit? The dude's a fucking minor, and he doesn't know you, you don't know him, you can't be telling him shit like that, that's disgusting. So yeah, what kind of promise? I don't think he even agreed to one in the first place. Anyways, next screenshot. I already told you that you can delete them if you want to. No, cause you said I could keep everything one below the belt. I mean, she probably technically did say that, and she just lied to him and whatnot, so technically, the only person who isn't keeping their promises is the bitch that's talking to him. Like, are you serious right now? Are you serious right now, bro? Like, are you serious right now? And also, do keep in mind, she is also able to probably save the pictures on her device without having to use Instagram, even if he does delete them, so that would have been very messed up, so I'm glad he didn't send anything inappropriate. Good on him. So, from the next screenshots I see here, this is from a day later, where they end up interacting again, so here's the rest of it. Yo, hey, what you doing right now? Nothing. Chatting with a good friend. Okay, you made a promise to me and you broke the trust yourself. Nah, that's not what happened. And he- and he's right, that's not what fucking happened. What happened was, you were the one that broke your promise. You said that he didn't have to send any nudity on his end. And yet here you are, later screenshots later, literally saying that he has to. Like, do you not know how messed up that is, especially on a child? The dude's a literal minor. And even if he wasn't a minor, he was an adult, he would still be weirded out by it, probably. Because that shit is disgusting. And now he probably w would consider a lot of things when he's older. Like, come on, dude. You're literally be a ba bad influence. And again, the dude's 14. He's young. He's just learning about things like life and stuff. In fact, the dude literally is learning about puberty, probably. You should not be thinking about this kind of stuff. And you should not be talking about this kind of shit around a minor, a literal child. You're an adult. You're supposed to act like a fucking adult and be mature. But no, you're over here talking to fucking kids online like EDP. Man, this is like the second time I mentioned EDP in this video. Is this teasing something more to come? I mean, I never really talked about him on this channel. But if you guys want to um, know more about him and whatnot, feel free to ask me about it in the comments below or even talk to me on my social media and whatnot. You never know. Anyways, next screenshot. You made a promise to me and you broke the trust yourself. Nah, that's not what happened. I'll need to pass because I hate people that's not trustworthy. What the fuck are you talking about? He never promised anything. So you're blaming shit on him and he's never even done anything. That's like accusing somebody for a crime that you didn't commit. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? Anyways, next part of the screenshot. That's literally grooming. Yes, yes it is. Can I ask you something? Question mark. When we were about to start this, what did I tell you? Didn't I say it's just a sexy, fun game? Yes, but you have to remember that I wasn't comfortable showing anything below the waist. I understand, okay? I swear on my life it's just between us, but I'm not comfortable doing that. He's literally telling you he's not comfortable. I literally thought that you would get this through your thick-ass fucking skull and literally just say, Okay, I understand. I'm going to leave you alone and never talk to you again because you're a minor and I'm an adult. You didn't think like that. I guess you don't know what common sense is in that stupid fucking brain of yours. That's probably why your profile looks like this. I want you to know that I wouldn't do anything to screw you up or make you sad. Yeah, right. You literally repeated this shit like how many fucking times? I've read this exact same fucking comment way too many times in this damn video already. She's just- I, is she a fucking AI? Like, is this a literal AI or something? Cause all of this looks like something that would be written by ChatGPT, bro. Are you sending it right now? No. Okay. My head fucking hurts from this, bro. She's literally asking for shit that she does not need, bro. Can this woman just go to fucking hell, bro? The rest of the screenshots is just of this same bitch just showing pictures of her cat towards the kid and whatnot. That does not matter in this video at all. It just doesn't matter, period. So, yeah. Anyways, moving on. 
Yes, it is me, Arnold Stark123, and from the future after most of this video was recorded, a day later and whatnot. I you finally get to see my face again. So, this you th really thought that this shit was over? Cause it's not. Because there was actually more that was shown of like um everything regarding this this Sarah individual. And yes, that was her, that is her name and whatnot. I actually spoke with the person myself in regards to Eli Chase and whatnot, and this is what I told to her. I know you do not know me, so I want to make this quick. I am an associate to a person that follows you on here. They recently told me that you were requesting them to send inappropriate things to you, and I want to clarify that that person was a minor, and I wanted to say to please never talk to this individual ever again, otherwise I will take action. And if you, if it's edited in this video, you can see that she also even saw um, the reply that I gave her in her DMs and whatnot, and what she did afterwards honestly got me laughing off screen, because... She knew what she did was wrong. What the hell? Oh my god, no way! Yep, what you saw from that footage from my end is correct. I was blocked, and thankfully, I'm glad I was because that goes to show you that they actually that um this individual literally realized what they've done was wrong and decided to block me and whatnot. And I bet she probably was like, "Oh God, oh God, that means I can get sent to the police." Oh my God, I gotta get the fuck out of here! Like, like seriously, like you knew what you did was wrong, woman. You knew what the fuck you did was wrong. But yeah, then I um, contacted Eli Chase again on Instagram. That's not what he goes by on there, but I will be blocking his name for privacy reasons and whatnot. Um, he then decided to contact me again, and I asked him to say his thoughts on the matter regarding the situation at hand. He couldn't record, but he did decide to give, give it to me in text, so I'm going to be reading it to you here. Here's what he said. On Instagram, I encountered a predator. It all started when she requested to follow me. I accepted, then she messaged me. She was nice at first, asking how my day was. Then things got started to get weird. She asked for one to play a sexy game. Me not knowing what it was, me not knowing what it was, I made a bad mistake. Then she started sending me nudes and asking if I was hard yet, then asking for dick pics. At this point, I started to feel uncomfortable, like really uncomfortable. She then started to push for them. At this point, I didn't know what to do. I kept saying no, but she kept requesting. Wow, talk about persistency. That That's just disgusting, bro. That's when I asked Arnold if he could do something. He made sure she wouldn't talk to me again. After that, she stopped talking to me. If it wasn't for him, this would probably still be happening. Well, there you have it. I ended up exposing a pedophile, and... I hope that this learns to everybody in my audience and whatnot who watches this, or just to whoever is new to the channel or is just watching me. Please be careful with who you talk to on the internet, because there might be some people who are either just rude, or who are just flat out just inappropriate and disgusting, or just could be a pedophile. You need to be careful with who you talk to on the internet, you gotta be careful with what you witness on the internet. Like, I'm being serious here, I've been on, I've been on the internet for quite a bit. And I've experienced a lot of stuff and whatnot. Some of them that I really do not like to this day. But yeah, this goes to show you that you all need to be careful when you're online. Otherwise, you experience shit like what Eli Chase witnessed recently. So I just want to say, I really do hope that you all don't have to experience this. And if you do, you do end up experiencing it, please take my word and be careful. Or just flat out block the person, whatever social media you got, wherever they're talking to you on, block them instantly. If they're being super disgusting or weird, just block them. With that being said, y'all, that's the end of this video. I hope you all hit the like button and subscribe and whatnot, and uh, stay safe out there, people. On all down.